What's going on guys? Welcome back to Michigan Great Outdoors. I'm happy to have you here today. Today we're going to look at the new Stan Onyx clicker. When you're loading the trigger, it actually clicks before it shoots. It's an interesting new release to just hit the market. So let's get clickety clacking. So I've picked an absolutely terrible day to do this video. It's super windy, got some severe weather coming in, but it's time to talk about this release. I've had this release now for about three weeks, and I really, whenever I do a release video, unless it's an unboxing, I really wanna take my time with it. I wanna spend some time shooting it, kinda of learn what it's all about. Uh, a little bit about me, kind of my background, uh, if you're new to the channel, is I've been shooting archery since I was a little kid. I've been shooting an index release primarily for like the last 25 years. Really love this Wise Guy release. I, I've shot it for a long time, but I, you know, I have target panic. I, I've struggled with target panic a lot. I've missed deer because of target panic. So I've kind of been playing around. I've been shooting different releases. Uh, this year I've actually really fell in love with this Trueball HBC Flex. I've been shooting this a lot. You know, learning how to shoot it properly, you know, rotating, you know, through it, using my fingers to manipulate, pulling through the shots. And, you know, I, I really like it, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hunt with this. You know, there's, there's some things that are great about it, but there's some things in a hunting situation that might not be the best. So then I kind of started toying around with some different buttons, uh, Carter releases, UV button I've been playing with, and I shoot this one really well. There's some things about a button release that I've been struggling with a little bit, and, and it's usually that, you know, getting it to draw, you get full draw, and you, you're you trying to like preload the button, but not push the button so you can pull through the shot. It's been a little bit of a, a learning curve for me. I, I'm shooting well with it, but at the same time, I'm always got my eyes and my ears tuned to the market and what's coming out. So this Stan Onyx, it's an interesting concept. The fact that they've incorporated a click into the release of, of a button release is very interesting. You know, we've never saw that ever on the market. It's pretty innovative. I've always wanted to get a Stan Onyx, but you know, I do like the heavier releases are stainless steel, they're brass, but I just can't get over the fact of how their brass release is just so bright. You know, I, you know, it's small, you know, you could say it's not gonna matter in the woods, but I just don't wanna take a big gold plated shiny thing out in the woods. So I went with these, this Sage Green Onyx C. This is the XL version. I think I got it from Podium Archery for like 279. I don't know if it was on sale. I think it's gone up in price now. It's more like 300 from like Lancaster and stuff. But when you pull it, when you load it, I don't know if you heard that because it's windy out here, but it's actually got a click in it. It's very interesting. So now we're going to we're going to draw back. We're going to get loaded on our trigger. We're going to preload that trigger and get to our click. And then at that point, the release is ready to fire. So either you're gonna add more pressure with your thumb or you're gonna pull back in, a, in the traditional push-pull method. You know, John Dudley teaches, uh, Elk Shape, all these guys, Podium Archery, even Joel Turner, he's been teaching it for a long time. Well, now we've kind of switched back to what he's calling single-digit manipulation. And all that is is a fancy term for using your thumb to fire the release. So you're gonna to get to that preload and then you're either gonna push your thumb with more pressure or you're gonna pull through. You can really shoot this release either way. When I first got it, I didn't watch any of the videos on it. I just saw that it was a click thumb and I was like, boom, I'm ordering it because I thought in my head it was a great concept. After I got it, I started shooting it. I was shooting it in that traditional method where I would just load my thumb on there, I'd get to that click and then I would just pull through. And to be honest with you, I shot the best group that I've ever shot with this new Matthews Phase 4 in my life. I mean, I had all three arrows at 20 yards touching. It was an incredible, and it gave me a lot of confidence. So then I started looking out there, and I watched some Joel Turner videos with Podium Archery. He was uh, with P.J. Riley, Lancaster, and he was talking about doing this single-digit manipulation. Now, 
it's not slapping the trigger it's it's pushing it in a, a very controlled method so you're preloading it you get to your click and then you're just adding more pressure until it fires and you're doing it very very slowly so i've done it both ways i think this release is absolutely awesome in both methodologies you know if you if you go ahead and you just push it you get to your click and you're adding pressure very slowly until it fires it fires extremely accurate and for me what i like about it so when you get to full draw i'm used to you know doing that push pull method and when you're a new thumb shooter or your new hinge shooter it's very hard to do it slowly enough and also keep your pin on the X. You know, you're trying to do it and I've struggled with, with keeping myself steady. On times that I've actually, you can activate your hinge, like if you're using a hinge, you can actually command the shot. I still shoot it fairly accurately, but I know it's not the best way to shoot it. So this is a very interesting product here to be able to draw back, get to that click, you're preloading it and then you can kind of you can make a conscious decision if you want to push the trigger or you could still if you wanted to pull through the shot it works either way now joel turner's teaching the fact that by commanding the shot you're actually going to get more accuracy and i actually really believe that i believe that to my core i know somebody that shoots pro uh asa tournaments he's on the matthews team he's a good friend of mine and he actually commands him his thumb button and he's a good archer i mean there's there's more ways to skin the cat than than is led to believe you know there's all these these teachings that you got to pull through the shot this is the way you have to do it and now we're going in a different direction where you were getting back to being able to command that now what's nice about the click is that you're going to get preload on your button and then you're basically ready to fire. So all you have to do is just continue to add pressure and then it will fire. One of the things that I really like about this release is how it feels in the hand. Now this is the XL size. They have four different sizes and I have big fat fingers, sausage fingers, short fingers, and this thing fits me absolutely perfectly. It feels really good in the hand. They also put this T post here at the end. It's very nice for resting that fourth finger. Now it comes with a fourth finger attachment. I don't really prefer that. I like the three fingers, but I love this little T post on here that you can rest that fourth finger. It's very well thought out. It's also adjustable so you can bring this in, you can bring it out. I have it turned in pretty good and overall I have zero complaints with this release other than one little minor thing when I first got it I noticed I was kind of chewing through my D loop a little bit a little more wear than I'm used to so what I did is I took a q-tip and I just rubbed it on all the little surfaces and I end up having a tiny gosh almost microscopic little burr on my hook so you use a q-tip and you rub it on there and it will pull on your q-tip and you'll see where that little burr is coming from i took a very small little dremel attachment i didn't have it on the dremel tool and it's got a little sander on it and a like a little grinder post and i just took it in there and knocked it off a little bit didn't do much uh, I then I took a little piece of leather rope that I have and I rubbed that leather in there a couple times just to make sure it was smooth no more issues there so overall really that's my only complaint with this release I haven't even adjusted it you can adjust this release and you can you can change the the travel of the preload which makes it fire a little quicker I haven't done every anything this thing is set to factory it's absolutely perfect the way it is it's a quality item one of the things that I use that's really helpful is I bought it from Knock On Archery. It's just a, a drawstring tool that you can kind of use. And uh, I think it was like 25, maybe 30 bucks. It's got a piece of wood on there you can draw back and you just can kind of play with getting your anchor and, and feeling those different positions. What's really nice about that tool is I'll actually sit on the couch sometimes at night and just practice, you know, just practice getting my thumb in the right position and just getting the right feels. And you can use that with anything. You use it with an index release, you can use it with a hinge, and it's just helpful. If you're really passionate about archery and you want to get better, it's a really cheap and effective tool that you can use to kind of just play around and get used to that feel. All right, so the storm actually rolled through. I had to run for cover, and now it turned into an absolutely beautiful day. Gonna go ahead and uh, 
I just want to finish this video and take a few shots for you guys and kind of just go through my thought process of how I'm shooting it. You know, I'm still working on it. I'm trying to perfect my process. But uh, one thing to mention that this has got a little, you know, little hook on here. It's very easy to get on the D loop. You just put a little pressure there and now it's on there. It's not going anywhere. It's absolutely perfect. So get my stance, draw back. I have a fair amount of pressure here on the back wall. I'm get my anchor. I'm going to go ahead and load the trigger. And boom, that was a pretty clean shot. So I'm kind of using, I'm kind of combining both of the methods. I'm using more thumb pressure. So once I get to pass my click, I'm continuing to add pressure, trying to do it slowly, but and then I'm also pulling on the back wall, which helps as well. So it's a, a very effective method, and honestly, it's a very accurate release. Another good shot. You know, what I would suggest if you pick this up is take it out back and play with it. You know, shoot it at your archery target. You know, try using the thumb method. Try pulling through. See what works best for you. Like I said, I'm kind of doing a combination of both. That's almost touching that other arrow. I got mad holes in my fletching because I've been tearing up arrows. You see how easy it is to get on that D loop. Shooting good. Let's shoot one more. And then uh, close this video out. Yeah, another good shot. So this is the Stan Onyx clicker. It's an awesome release. If you're looking for something new, innovative, different, give this one a try. I think it's a really good release. I wish that the brass, the heavier version, was not that gold plated. I really love this sage green. I just wish it was a little bit heavier. I do like a heavier feel in my release, but still, this is an awesome release. I think I'm gonna put some grip tape on it and uh, Honestly, I might be hunting with this release this year if all goes well. So thanks for tuning in. If you like videos like this, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing down below, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.